welcome. Quirks, welcome to my lair. Pay no attention to the yellow on my goggles. I broke them and then fixed them with the only tape I could find. I asked you to ask me. To ask you to ask me some questions. Any kind of questions, good questions, bad questions, funny questions, serious questions. And you did. You asked me questions. I'm a little bit distracted right now because I just realized if I blink my eyes, I can see the reflection of my eyelashes moving. Today, I'm wearing my reflector goggles so that I can answer your questions and reflect them back to you. You guys need to experience this. Uh, that doesn't look like what I see. The power of the reflector goggle cannot be transmitted through technology. Let's get started with the questions. As soon as I put away my booming voice. Philly Felipe asks, is the canoe made out of wood or aluminum? Yes. Yes it is. Meow asks, do you like to throw frisbee? Only in traffic. Especially in traffic. Gaming Sapatapi asks, do you want to build a snowman? Let it go. Nizzy Sturster asks, what's this for? It's for a YouTube video. Ugh. Oh yeah. Mashrashawat asks, do you like cheese? Do I like cheese? I love cheese. I don't like goat cheese. Don't ever touch goat cheese. Goat cheese is cursed. It tastes like if you dissected a goat and you used one of those spatula bowl scraper things on the inside of a goat's udders. And I can't eat blue cheese. I do like the way it tastes, but it, it gives me a stomach ache. Maybe I'm allergic. Out of all of the genetically modified organisms, all I really want to see is a cow that can squirt out cheese ways. Have you heard about Pluto? It's messed up, right? Tyre asks, what is your favorite Skittle flavor slash color? Well, I haven't actually tried all of them. Let's go to the Skittles fridge. I have tried the regular pack. I have tried the sour pack, the tropical pack, wildberry pack. I have tried the bright side pack. Today, I will experience the dark side pack. Jeremy Walkie asks, if someone gave you a blank check to build your dream house, what kind of stuff would you put in it? I have a lot of ideas for how I want to do my house. And honestly, most of it doesn't really require a lot of money. Most of it is stuff that I want to build myself in my woodworking shop. I do have specifically ideas for just a really, really cool office slash studio with a custom built desk, a place that would allow me to film stuff like this with as much convenience and quality as possible. Isik Stengel asks, why are you? This, this is why. In what way is a raven like a writing desk? They both smell nice on a bonfire. How many dreams do you still remember? Oh man. One time I had a dream where I was playing a really intense game of paintball and I, got, I ran out of ammunition and I panicked and sprayed three players in the eyes with pepper spray. And then I was trying to load my weapon but they were starting to recover so I, I hit them again. <laughs> they, were, they weren't happy about that. On a scale from one to the best food in the universe, how much do you like tuna? Right between grapes and french toast. Off the top of my head, my favorite flavor so far is the uh, the yellow one, banana kiwi, I think, from the bright side pack. What do we got here? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Aha. How much do you pay your pocket manager, and what is his or her name? I'm actually hiring right now. My last pocket manager got digital rabies. It's very rare. It comes from the tropics. Aggressive air guitar playing, foaming at the nails. It's pretty ugly. But if you're interested in the position, don't worry. All of my pockets have been sanitized. Rotacha Macha asks, how many hours have you filmed? Most of my videos, I'd say, end up being about three hours of raw footage. So I have 215 public videos that are not live streams. And I asked him if he wanted me to include live streams. He said yes, so that's 87 hours of live stream time. Wow, that sounds like a lot. That adds up to 732 hours of filming for this YouTube channel. That converts down to about 30 and a half days, so exactly a month. An average month, unless you count February, which I don't. I hope you're not counting February. February is a stupid month. Get with the program. It's not even pronounced the way it's spelled. I have no respect for a month that's not- What has it got in its pockets? Says... It's it, Philip. How many siblings do you have? If so, are you the youngest, oldest, I'm just making this up because I can't read the rest of the question from here. 
Are you the oldest, middle, or youngest? I have four siblings, an older sister, a younger brother, a younger younger brother, and a younger sister. What's your favorite color? Green, but I don't like for things to actually be green. I don't think most things look good in green except for plants. I just like the color itself. One time I dreamed that we had a miniature shopping mall in our front yard. I'm not really sure why it was there, but I was in it. And like when I was in it, I was smaller so that I fit in it and it looked like it was normal size, but it was like flooding and one end was sinking lower and lower into the water. And I kept going through these same rooms over and over into the deep end and then back out of the deep end and back in. And every time I went through, it was deeper into the water. I don't remember why I was going through it. I don't remember what most of the rooms were, but I remember one of the rooms was like a meat room and they were processing meat and people were actively processing meat in this room while it was sinking into the murky water. I feel like my dream was trying to tell me not to invest in the meat industry. That was an interesting one because I actually dreamed about that same shopping mall weeks later. It had all dried out by then and everything was back to normal so I guess we're not going to be meatless forever which is wonderful. That's the real apocalypse when everyone is forced to be vegetarian for months. That'll do things to you man. Mm. This is good. It's very good. What is in here? Forbidden fruit. Very biblical. Black cherry. Dark berry. Midnight lime. And blood orange. The only acceptable form of orange. What superpower would you rather have? Walk on water or walk on Lego bricks? My friend. I already have the power of walking on Lego bricks. It is a rite of passage. In order to become a teen fan of Lego, you must prove yourself by walking on a bed of Lego bricks while all of your Lego fan friends chant T-F-O-L, T-F-O-L, T-F-O-L. At least that's how it works in my family. I don't know what you guys are doing. Japeless Ape asks, do you prefer to walk on concrete or asphalt with shoes on or to walk on bare feet with grass? I am not gonna go back and read that the right way because I like my way better. I gotta go concrete with shoes, unless it's really nice grass, like real grass. We don't have that in my house. We just have this brown prickly stuff that we call grass. You know those pretzel things that people make where it's like a, a bundle of pretzel sticks all stuck together with, with chocolate? Imagine walking on those. To be or not to be. To be is to defy the void that, given its way, would swallow us all. Not to be would be to surrender to the chaos of atrophy that consumes world after world, patiently, each in its own time, inevitably, ultimately, buttery. What is your favorite season and why? Autumn. The weather is cool, the sun is breezy, the air, especially in the morning, is so fresh, it's better than candy. And the beautiful colors of the leaves on the trees breaking down on a cellular level from the inside and gradually drying up and dying, it's breathtaking. I had a dream once where I was playing this video game and the map for the video game looked just like my front yard and my house. But then later, like it snowed and all the ground was covered with snow at my house and a tree fell over, I think. And then the next time I played the game, it updated and it had all those things in it. So I realized whoever had built that game lived in my town and had explored my house and yard. What's your favorite food? The American version of Chinese food, especially honey chicken and lo mein. The more MSG, the better. This might be a total Troy question, but what do you love most about ChoyTube? I love that YouTube is a place where anyone can make videos and post them and share them. You don't have to be making money from it. You don't have to be trying to make money from it. It just provides a place where you can make what you want to make and share it with your friends and anyone who wants to see it. What kind of new flavored water would you like to try? How about pure H2O? No chemicals, no minerals, no salt, no chlorine. Just two hydrogen atoms for every oxygen atom and that's it. Also Skittles flavor. <sighs> Whatever happened to predictability? The Milkman, The Paperboy, Evening TV. Philip, nothing is truly timeless. Everything spoils eventually. This is no news, everyone saw it coming. I had a dream where I was out in the middle of the woods. I was all alone, this was unfamiliar territory. And these horses started coming out from behind the trees all around me. They just came out of nowhere, stepping out from behind the trees and walking toward me. 
and then this one pony, a very creepy, scraggly gray pony, it came out in front of all the others and walked up to me. It was very angry. It was saying, Nay, always. Nay, always. And after a few seconds, all the horses disappeared and there was a giant orange bull and he charged me and I woke up. Wack Telson asks, Who's a smarty? Me. Favorite hobby? Video editing, woodworking. It's tough, but I do have to say video editing. It depends on the video though, because a few of these have been a real pain in the butt to edit. The ones that I truly enjoy editing are usually the ones that I'm happiest with when they're done. That's really something to think about. I think the bright side pack is still my favorite. Nesaios asks, what is your favorite Lego element? You know, I've got to go with the old Rock Raiders Rock Monster from like 1997. I have one on my desk. His name is Murphy. I actually used to be under the impression before I bought him that there was a dark gray one and that there was a white one. Turns out there never was a dark gray one. I think they were maybe in one of the books. And then the white one was in the books, but I also saw a picture of a prototype version of that that was in a big book of old Lego stuff that I had. And basically I was going to buy one of each of the three colors and uh, just line them up all side by side. I'd love to have one of the prototypes. That would be amazing. Do you like waffles? Bro, let me tell you something about waffles. I once dreamed that Elmo from Sesame Street was on a rampage across the countryside raiding hen houses and eating the eggs raw like the little monster that he is. And I somehow ended up on a task force that was assigned to hunt down Elmo and capture him. And I remember being terrified. He's scary, man. Can you picture Elmo with egg yolk just like dripping off of his chin? What kind of music do you like? You like jazz? Twice a year, I go to the dentist, and when I go to the dentist, I always listen to jazz on the radio because the route from my house to the dentist is the only place where I can pick up a jazz station. If your beard were longer, do you think it would have the same amazing qualities as your hair? I think it would have different amazing qualities from my hair. My hair is like bipolar. If it's treated right, it'll behave and it'll do pretty much whatever I want it to. If I don't treat it right and if I don't cut it right, it sticks out. It likes to stand up and sing. My beard hair is more like, leave me alone, leave me alone, don't touch me, leave me alone. I think if it got longer, it might just start slapping people's hands away. One night I dreamed that I worked for this company that instead of having a regular parking lot for their employees, basically they use crispy breaded chicken tenders as gravel. And that's what everybody parked on top of and it was my job to make sure the entire parking lot was covered with fresh driveway chicken every day. The driveway chicken spreaders are the unsung heroes of every industry. Which do you prefer, smartphone or flip phone? I carry a smartphone. I'm not sure how smart it is. It's $30 at Walmart. There are cracks and smudges all over it. Isn't it beautiful? It's like a work of art. I never put a case on it because uh, I, I don't really have a tendency to drop it, or at least I say that, but it does have cracks. It doesn't last that long anyway. I replace them every like two years. I don't really care. And I like it to be as low profile as possible in my pocket. They're actually getting bigger. Walmart's cheapest phone model gets bigger every time I buy one and I hate it. To properly answer your question, that might be a subject for another video. A question to end the video out on. When will your next video be? When I feel like it. Here we go again. Back into the goggles. Camera need to move downward. Downward! On a scale of 1 to 10, how ridiculous do I look here right now? The higher the better. There is an echo in here, but it's like a sharp echo. Can you hear that? Just like a barber. Look up for me. Look down. Sometimes if I get it in just the right spot, I'll have one place where I can actually see straight through. Let me, let me crank this up so you can hear that. I'm going to crank it all the way up. And I'm going to whisper so I don't freak you out.
clean up. I need a screen. Give me a screen, boy. There's too much light in here. All I'm getting is reflections of the lights up here and that's weird. Oh, I see the tripod right up there. Do you know how long these have been in my car while I've been waiting to film this? Torture, sheer torture. It just sounds really good in this room. I'm sure that's what you click to watch. No, 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 no. Ow. Ugh, don't do that. Really loud. I'm really curious to listen to this later and see what it sounds like. I think that's enough filming from this position. Ugh.